The Bobcat. The Bobcat Lynx Rufus, also known as the Red Lynx, is a medium-sized cat native to North America from southern Canada, most of the contiguous United States to Oaxaca in Mexico. It is listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List since 2002, because it is widely distributed and abundant. Although it has been hunted extensively both for sport and fur, populations have proven resilient though declining in some areas. It has distinctive black bars on its forelegs and a black-tipped, stubby, or bobbed, tail, from which it derives its name. It is smaller on average than the Canada lynx, with which it shares parts of its range, but is about twice as large as the domestic cat. It is an adaptable predator inhabiting wooded areas, as well as semi-desert, urban edge, forest edge, and swampland environments. It remains in some of its original range, but populations are vulnerable to local extinction extirpation, by coyotes and domestic animals. Though the bobcat prefers rabbits and hares, it hunts insects, chickens, geese and other birds, small rodents, and deer. Prey selection depends on location and habitat, season, and abundance. Like most cats, the bobcat is territorial and largely solitary, although with some overlap in home ranges. It uses several methods to mark its territorial boundaries, including claw marks and deposits of urine or feces. The bobcat breeds from winter into spring and has a gestation period of about two months. Two subspecies are recognized, one east of the Great Plains, and the other west of the Great Plains. They were probably separated during interglacial periods in the Pleistocene by the aridification of the Great Plains. It first appeared during the Irvingtonian stage around 1.8 million years ago. The elusive predator features in some indigenous peoples of North and Central America stories and in the folklore of European colonizers. Description. The bobcat resembles other species of the mid-sized genus lynx, but is on average the smallest of the four. Its coat is variable, though generally tan to grayish brown, with black streaks on the body and dark bars on the forelegs and tail. Its spotted patterning acts as camouflage. The ears are black tipped and pointed, with short black tufts. Generally, an off-white color is seen on the lips, chin, and underparts. Bobcats in the desert regions of the southwest have the lightest colored coats, while those in the northern, forested regions are darkest. Kittens are born well-furred and already have their spots. A few melanistic bobcats have been sighted and captured in Florida, USA and New Brunswick, Canada. They appear black, but may still exhibit a spot pattern. The face appears white due to ruffs of extended hair beneath the ears. Bobcat eyes are yellow with round, black pupils. The nose of the bobcat is pinkish red, and it has a base color of gray or yellowish or brownish red on its face, sides, and back. The pupils are round, black circles and will widen during nocturnal activity to maximize light reception. The cat has sharp hearing and vision, and a good sense of smell. It is an excellent climber, and swims when it needs to, but normally avoids water. However, cases of bobcats swimming long distances across lakes have been recorded. The adult bobcat is 47.5 to 125 centimeters long from the head to the base of its distinctive stubby tail, averaging 82.7 centimeters. The tail, which appears bobbed and gives the species its name, adds 9 to 20 centimeters. An adult stands about 30 to 60 centimeters at the shoulders. Adult males can range in weight from 6.4 to 18.3 kilograms, with an average of 9.6 kilograms, females at 4 to 15.3 kilograms, with an average of 6.8 kilograms. The largest bobcat accurately measured on record weighed 22.2 kilograms, although unverified reports have them reaching 27 kilograms. Furthermore, a June 20, 2012 report of a New Hampshire roadkill specimen listed the animal's weight at 27 kg. The largest bodied bobcats are from eastern Canada and northern New England of the subspecies L.R. Gigas, while the smallest are from the southeastern subspecies L.R. Floridanus, particularly those in the southern Appalachians. The bobcat is muscular, and its hind legs are longer than its front legs, giving it a somewhat irregular gait. At birth, it weighs 270 to 340 grams and is about 25 centimeters in length. By its first birthday, it weighs about 4.5 kilogram. The cat is larger in its northern range and in open habitats. A morphological size comparison study in the eastern United States found a divergence in the location of the largest male and female specimens, suggesting differing selection constraints for the sexes. Behavior. 
The bobcat is crepuscular and is active mostly during twilight. It keeps on the move from three hours before sunset until about midnight and then again from before dawn until three hours after sunrise. Each night, it moves from 3.2 to 11.3 kilometers along its habitual route. This behavior may vary seasonally, as bobcats become more diurnal during fall and winter in response to the activity of their prey, which are more active during the day in colder weather. The adult bobcat has relatively few predators other than humans. However seldomly, it may be killed in interspecific conflict by several larger predators or fall prey to them. Cougars and grey wolves can kill adult bobcats, a behavior repeatedly observed in Yellowstone National Park as well as elsewhere. Coyotes have killed adult bobcats and kittens. At least one confirmed observation of a bobcat and an American black bear Ursus Americanus fighting over a carcass is confirmed. Like other lynx species, bobcats probably avoid encounters with bears, in part because they are likely to lose kills to them or may rarely be attacked by them. Bobcat remains have occasionally been found in the resting sites of male fishes. American alligators have been filmed opportunistically preying on adult bobcats in the southeast United States. The bobcat is an adaptable animal. It prefers woodlands, deciduous, coniferous, or mixed, but unlike the other lynx species, it does not depend exclusively on the deep forest. It ranges from the humid swamps of Florida to desert lands of Texas or rugged mountain areas. It makes its home near agricultural areas, if rocky ledges, swamps, or forested tracts are present, its spotted coat serves as camouflage. The population of the bobcat depends primarily on the population of its prey. Other principal factors in the selection of habitat type include protection from severe weather, availability of resting and den sites, dense cover for hunting and escape, and freedom from disturbance. The bobcat's range does not seem to be limited by human populations, as long as it can find a suitable habitat, only large, intensively cultivated tracts are unsuitable for the species. The animal may appear in backyards in urban edge environments, where human development intersects with natural habitats. If chased by a dog, it usually climbs up a tree. Its population in Canada is limited due to both snow depth and the presence of the Canadian lynx. The bobcat does not tolerate deep snow, and waits out heavy storms in sheltered areas, it lacks the large, padded feet of the Canadian lynx and cannot support its weight on snow as efficiently. The bobcat is not entirely at a disadvantage where its range meets that of the larger felid. Displacement of the Canadian lynx by the aggressive bobcat has been observed where they interact in Nova Scotia, while the clearing of coniferous forests for agriculture has led to a northward retreat of the Canadian lynx's range to the advantage of the bobcat. Thanks for watching.